You're used to theatre, so you, you... I'm with Lord Cashman, and he's in Jersey for the Jersey Holocaust Memorial. They call it a memorial service, but it's... For some it's a celebration, because obviously there are things to celebrate. And one of the themes in your talk, you're the speaker today, the main speaker, guest speaker, was the fact that it is still here, homophobia is still rampant in the world. And, and all these groups that were singled out by the Nazis to be eliminated, they still suffer prejudice and humiliation. It still goes on. Hmm. And the British Commonwealth, there are uh, 50 territories which still make it illegal to be homosexual, to yes. have homosexual acts. And, and, uh, and for me, the, the important thing about Holocaust Memorial Day is we remember not just because you say, oh, I need to remember. You remember so that you prevent it happening again. Indeed. Um, and, and also, you join hands with all of the others who were persecuted and annihilated because they were represented as a threat to others. They were scapegoats. They were an excuse. And, and, and as you rightly say, there are countries around the world where just being gay, you could face... 60-odd countries still, but still there, there are countries. six countries, upwards of 11, where you can face the death Death, penalty. exactly. Um, and that's for being gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans. Right. Um, and, but, but I am deeply worried about the rise uh, of hate crime across all of the different groups, right. the rise of anti-Semitism, anti Islamophobia, misogyny, xenophobia, the, the, the complete dehumanization of migrants, the rise of, of, of all of this hate speech and yes. hate crimes means what that for intolerance. Why is it still there? It's a, a lot of it is to do with sometimes politicians in difficult situations want to find a scapegoat, someone to blame, a group to blame, or they say they don't, they don't deserve equality. Look at the way the English football team was denigrated by some British politicians because they took the knee against racism. Right. You shouldn't denounce those people, you should celebrate them. Because, if I always say, if I don't defend the rights of others, how can I ever expect my own rights to be defended. And that's why today, hearing the Dean speak so eloquently about right. persecution, today we come together to remember and to commit that we will speak out to prevent it happening again. And as I said in my speech, the overture to horror is very quiet. The six million Jews who were exterminated started with a boycott of their shops right. and their businesses right. and if people say nothing and do nothing they're complicit we have to speak out we have to challenge discrimination whether it comes from the state or whether it comes from an individual i and love again, to watch the film cabaret ah, yeah. because the subliminal text is about the rise of nazis of course and also and the entertainment's going on and there it is it's going on and, pe and people don't respond and people forget that a lot of minorities went to berlin in the 30s where they could be free they could be themselves and within a space of a few years complete about turn exactly and, and the overture to the Holocaust began. I'm now going off to do some more celebrating of, before you go, of people and individuals. Before you go, one of the horrible thoughts I have, because the United Nations, the European Convention of Human Rights, all these things came out of the Second World War, to the most part. If there hadn't been a Holocaust, how would we be behaving now to all these minority groups? Would we still be discriminated on worldwide? Because it's pretty widespread even now. Well, well, first of all, I can never entertain the idea of saying if there hadn't been the Holocaust. Right. Because the Holocaust teaches us the depths to which humanity can sink. Right. I also believe of the human ability to always do good, to be encouraged to right. good. And so therefore, the human rights protections that came out of the Second World War would have come about perhaps longer, perhaps differently. But, but, but I have optimism that believes goodness and justice and decency will always prevail. 
And on that note, I'm going to wish you, you a lovely get. afternoon. <laughs> Thank you for your Take time. Take care. Ciao. Thank you, Mike.